Hi and welcome back. You're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I, Wendy, show you recipes which impress with ease. Today we're going to be making savory scones. These are easy but yet so delicious. They are loaded with cheese and bacon and are surely going to warm up your day. If you enjoy watching my recipes, don't forget to like and subscribe. So now let's get started. We're going to start by sifting the flour. And to that we're going to add the sugar, the salt and garlic powder and cayenne pepper, and the baking powder. Sifting the ingredients is going to help to take out any lumps that may be there in the flour and it will also help to incorporate air which will make the scones nice and light. Now we're going to add butter to the flour mixture and this is frozen unsalted butter. It is very important to use frozen butter because frozen butter is going to give us that nice flakiness to the scone. Now with the help of a pastry cutter, I'm going to cut the butter in. Once the butter has been cut fine, you'll still find that there are small little lumps of butter. But we're going to go in now with our ham and then rubbing the two palms together, you're going to flatten out those little lumps of butter. But make sure that you don't do too much because you don't want too much of heat from your hand melting the butter. Now we're going to combine the wet ingredients. For that I've got some buttermilk and I'm going to uh, crack in an egg into it and whisk it up. To this we're going to add some lemon zest. Now we're going to combine the wet with the dry ingredients. And we're just going to give it a mix till it just comes together. Now that we have this partially mixed up, there is still some dry flour at the bottom, but we're going to put this down onto the board and then put in our mixins and put it together. Now we're going to add in the mixin. We're going to put in some cheese a little at a time some of the bacon and some of the rosemary and thyme and then we're just going to give it a little folding and now we can add in the remaining cheese. I'm going to keep a little bit aside to just put on the top and I'm going to add in some more bacon and again I'm going to leave some bacon for decorating the top. And here we're keeping some more of the rosemary and the thyme also for the top of the scones. And now we're just going to make sure that this all comes together. Now that our dough has come together, we are just going to form it into a round circle and then cut it into pieces. We're just going to flatten it with our hand till we reach approximately about one inch thickness. Now we're going to cut these into eight pieces. So we're going to go first down the center and then this way down the center and then we're going to make these into smaller ones. I've placed the scones in a baking sheet which is lined with parchment paper and now I'm going to brush them with an egg wash. Uh, I've taken one egg and mixed it up with a little bit of heavy cream. I feel that that really gives a lovely glaze to the scones. And I'm just going to brush it very lightly. Now we're going to top them with the cheese. This is really going to take them to the next level some bacon and rosemary and thyme. I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees and I'm going to put these in and bake them for approximately 18 to 20 minutes. I've just taken the scones out of the oven and oh my they look so delicious. Now we're going to let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes 
and then we're going to plate it. You should definitely give this recipe a try. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the scone. Subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!